All right, what's good? So I'm currently looking at this NAS demand. It's just broken a bunch of minor highs. It hasn't broken this major, which would have been nice, but this demand is definitely valid. If not, there's another one under it. But once again, we'd be pretty sick if it broke this high. But um, someone tells me that's not gonna happen. To be honest, this isn't the cleaner setup. The EMA is kind of going through the middle down here and it just didn't break this major. But the rejection is crazy. So I could take a break of candle entry, potentially, if it gives it. All right, these rejections are Yes, they were crazy. A close inside the zone will not be nice considering this is definitely not a 10 out of 10 setup. Honestly, the zone below is a lot nicer, but it might take a minute to go down to there. Yeah, by the way, boys, I am trying out a new broker because the broker I was using, Hanger Trade, has gone over to a new a new platform and I like MetaTrader. So I have switched over to a new broker, which is why the top left thing is blurred because I don't know if I fuck with them yet. Uh, okay, something tells me I'm not getting this breaking candle. They're <laughs> breaking candle to the downside. That's always fun. Alright, that is the zone invalid for me. So now we're waiting to see if it goes down to this bottom zone. Alright, Naz has actually just tapped. Um, we're gonna see what rejections happen. It's already rejecting quite nice. It's actually hit it with a fat exhaustion candle to be honest. However, break of candle is tragic. Break of candle is all the way up here. It could be an aggressive entry kinda kind of trade however i don't really like aggressive entries i'm gonna see how it closes and go from there close outside the zone on trading view and that's what i I'd take my sales based off uh ideally i don't want to take a, an aggressive entry so i'd like it to consolidate around here for a second uh chill out and then do whatever ideally but that's that's quite a lot to ask potentially it actually is rejected nice i can't take a break of candle up here <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole move. Right, okay, it's actually rejecting like crazy, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? Oh, oh <laughs> okay. fuck. This, done. this is my first time on this broker, okay? I've got exceptional terms and conditions. Oh! Okay, wrong broker. Alright, yeah. Switching broker, that spread oh is horror. God. What is that spread? Actually, what is that spread? Is that the broker's fault? That was tragic. Okay, well, we've taken the worst aggressive entry ever. <laughs> like, that, if it closes here, it's just gonna be a normal break of candle, but... Let's, let's do, I might end a, a smaller position with a better entry. It's gonna be the same <laughs> 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 What is this? What is this spread? <laughs> I'm never using this broker again. <laughs> Uh, I could get a one to two if I take it up to just above here, and that would be pretty darn nice. This candle's nice. I still can't believe the spread, bro. If I got in right now, look where it would get me in at. That is crazy. No, it's just retesting. Just retesting the stop loss. Retesting stop loss a little bit. <laughs> Sure it works. Alright, we'll reject them. Trust. This is the weirdest live trade, man. <laughs> what is going on? If close on the size of the zone, then I'll just close. Um Rejecting the stop loss. <laughs> That is rejected where the stop loss would be, but I don't have one in right now. See, that's why. That's why we don't put a stop loss in, because that would have just hunted my stop loss and gone out. That's a that's a smart that's money a candle right there. <laughs> that is a smart money candle, and now we hit with the fattest rejection ever. Take that. Break. Like I said, I'm gonna go for a one to two if possible. I it broke candle at least, so I don't feel like a numb skull. I mark up where one to one is because that's always good to know. Uh, like here. 
yeah. So we're nearly at one to one, literally like half a pip off, and we've still got momentum. So I'm cool to still hold this. But yeah, I literally took all my bread out of Hanker Trade because I just don't like the idea of switching to a new platform. I just like Meta Trader. I'm in the UK, so I've got some decent options for brokers. Um, I know the US are kind of kind of done for when it comes to brokers. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying out this new broker, and I don't know how to feel about it. I'm just gonna chill, see how it's like for the next week, and I'll stop trading for Christmas because markets are messy enough as it is but yeah if we can take this for a quick one to two that would be quite beautiful to be honest because it is a monday no news today just be a beautiful trade to start the week and should i take this over a one to three or damn right. i mean over one to two because this momentum is just crazy Shit, I, mm, well i've got a few seconds to decide <laughs> yeah i won't get greedy and there you go what a crazy trade. That candle is insane. That's the one that broke candle. Yeah, that was that was just a sick trade to be honest. I'll take that. Very what, nice. a, what could start to the week? Uh, this has been the messiest live trade I've ever made by far. I don't but, even um, know how you're going to edit this shit. This is it's going to be terrible. But um, yeah, I'll probably break down the trade for anyone who's interested. Alright, so this trade actually wasn't like my favourite setup in the world, but the markets were absolutely horrible today, so I had to figure something out. Obviously, sometimes you could just not take a trade, but, but I just like the setup enough to take it, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this actually didn't have a major break of structure, but it did break all three of these miners. So that was enough confidence for me to think that it was breaking structure to the upside. Also, we're above the 200 EMA. Um, we did go blow up for a second, but the rejections were really nice and it didn't seem to affect the trade much. The higher time frames were definitely in our favour in terms of breaking structure to the upside. The one hour above the EMA, we're clearly in an uptrend. Same with the four hour, we're actually pretty high on it, but it was just definitely in our favour. So it might not look like it at first, but the 15 minute was actually in our favour as well. But we were breaking some minor structures, and although we didn't break this one, we actually took liquidity just before going up, and that's always a nice confluence. If we take liquidity from the downside, then we don't have any liquidity to target on the downside. But on the five minute, it just more looks like a break of structures to the downside. But yeah, this trade just looked like it could go for more than one to one, to be honest. This would have been a one to one, even with the horrible spread that I had. Don't really know what was up with that, to be honest. Um, I'm trying out this new broker, but a lot of people said that NAS spread was terrible on the Discord, which by the way, uh, join in the description. But yeah, I'll continue to use this broker for a little bit, at least until Christmas probably, and see how the spreads are. Cause I'll likely try a funded challenge in the new year. But yeah, I just targeted just above this liquidity just to get a one to two, to be honest. I just like the idea of getting a one to two but yeah that's the end of this video man uh like subscribe comment follow the instagram i say this every time that's a lot of things to do and join the discord but yeah peace